You hear that? That's a dinger howl. Well, hey, my name is Emily. And my name's Emily. And today we're going to a wildlife park. We're so excited. For the first time in a long time. Yeah. Since we got back. Yeah, I feel like the last zoo we went to was Holes Gap. No, Calmsley. No, Holes Gap is in Victoria. <laughs> um, Hunter Valley. <laughs> I think it was Calmsley. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to a wildlife park down here near Melbourne. It is called Moonlit Sanctuary. All Australian animals? Yes. It's the first time I've ever been. I've been here so many times, it's amazing. I haven't been here for a while, so exciting. All right, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> We are here, we are in. We've seen a couple of things already. They do a heap of animal encounters. We won't be doing any today. There's some cool ones, dingoes, wombats, barn owls. Barn owls, yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, we've seen the wombats so far and a couple of birds. So we're gonna yeah. keep having a look around. So as you can see, we are here at the koalas. Something we didn't tell you last time, which is cool about koalas, which you would have seen in the footage we showed you then, is that they have two opposable thumbs on each front foot. Yeah, so their front feet, which are like our hands, they actually have two <laughs> thumbs. Helps them grip a little bit better. And that is why they're such good climbers. That's why you'll see them at the tippity top of trees. Back to the koalas. <laughs> house that they're building it's about halfway finished by the looks of it um, but the exhibits that they've already done look incredible um, I will definitely be coming back in a few months to see it complete So in 2016, Moonlit opened a breeding facility for orange-bellied parrots, which is super exciting. Uh, there's only about 50 birds left in the wild. So it's a breeding program along with Zoo's Vic. Their breeding facilities include 20 breeding aviaries, which allows them to maintain up to 40 birds here at a time and then they are able to be released into the wild. But it's pretty incredible and pretty impressive. It's a really well done breeding program. What they're doing with these guys is incredible and so important for saving the species, which we need to be more focused on. So I don't have any gold coins today, but I'll give them what I could find. Grey kangaroos are probably my favourite type of kangaroo. They're just so beautiful. So cute. Little tiny tamer wallaby. So small compared to the kangaroos that we were looking at before, but still a part of the macropod family. 
satin bowerbirds. We love these birds. I've told you about these guys before. If you tuned into the day at Wildlife Sydney Zoo, bowerbirds in general build uh, their nest on the ground. It's actually called a bower, not a nest. And the males build it, and then for satin bowerbirds, they decorate it with blue things. They go and collect like blue feathers, blue flowers, decorate their bower, and that is what attracts a female. So the male is actually the dark black purplish colored bird, and the female is the brown one. Typical in the bird world, the males are always prettier than the females. It's a dingo howl. <laughs> yeah, Quolls are super amazing. They're actually the other Emily's personal favorite Australian animal. Spotted tail quolls have the second strongest bite strength relative to their size, following behind the Tasmanian devil. Guys, that big thud is the sound of that eagle jumping onto this tin roof. Oh my God, look at him. Look how big these animals are. He keeps jumping onto the roof. I'm assuming it's to try and scare the people in here. That's what that thud was, him <laughs> landing on the tin roof where we're standing. <laughs> it's really cool to see them this close. I don't think I've ever seen a wedgie up this close before. That is it for our day at Moonlit Sanctuary. Super fun. I really, yeah. really loved it. Never been here before. Loved it. The dingoes were probably my favorite. I really liked the dingoes. I liked the eagles. The eagles. I, I liked, knew you were going to say that. I really liked the eagles. They were hard to see and they were being super cheeky, but they were probably my favorite. But now we are sitting down to a quick lunch before we go home. With a view. Done. That was incredible. If any of you that work there are watching this, you've done an incredible job over the last couple of years doing some renovations to some of your exhibits. Um, the place is looking incredible, so well done. But that is it for this week. We are finally back doing wildlife parks again. Let us know if you Yay. loved it. Let us know if you want to see more. Comment down below which animal you loved the most. Subscribe if you want to join us for this journey. Add you to our little list of friends. Friends. Who doesn't want to be friends, friends. with the Emily? and we will see you in the next one see you next week <laughs>